Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back with another one. Back with another one. Back with another one. Uh, it's been 10 years since I've been on YouTube for a long, long time. Evergreen content. I took this path, took a big risk. Um, lost the channel prior to that. Been on YouTube technically 15 years because I've been on it five years before. And yeah, the sting got, got the best of us. And well, well I'm not going to get into that because I've mentioned it so many times on blog streams. And I felt like that stuff is all through the bullshit. 10 years on this channel, man. A little of success. I would say evergreen content. And I did step away from 2015 to 2020. And it was my five year absence. Came back on the six years after a hiatus. And I said this all the time in 2021. That's how you build content. Your shit grows. It's like evergreen, man. It takes time. Each year it gets better and better. Of pure evergreen real content talk about various things just to talk about history talk about a little bit of philosophy breakdowns certain pictures i used to have before i had the pristine podcast gear that i got now so it's all good it's all good this stuff can manifest itself a long time so people can watch this all the time a lot of people trying to say my channel is unusual well first of all it's not unusual mine's is basically i talk about real shit current events politics I talk about our cultural experience you know our people and i talk about various things now live streams i was in certain affiliate spaces but i had to cut them off since march and took my own path so my content is what it is you know what i'm saying and i have a mixed audience they watch my shit they watch it whenever and they don't really give a shit. Some of them came and went. But that's 10 years of staying on here that long and doing content. I just do content, man. Like, I don't really care about the other shit and going crazy and all that. I ain't trying to be famous off this shit. Same my thing. I just do it. And then once I'm a content creator, I have the voice to say what I want. And I've been doing this for years. So this ain't nothing new. It ain't going to be stopped. I ain't going to be silenced. I say what I want sometimes every now and then I don't, but I say what I want. If someone try to come at me, I speak up, I shut them up and that's it. I ain't got time for that. I'm not going to respond to bullshit. Uh, when people try to claim they got content, but technically they don't, they don't do what I do. I do three things. I live stream, I pre-record and I vlog stream. It's like live streaming, different forms of live stream. I do the panel thing and I also do the vlogs like a live stream, just stream it. And then I do the pre-records. That's it. It could be by premiere or regular pre-record talking. And if it's an issue, I'll just have a one long recording. That's it. And you do what you do. It's just what it is. I just don't like the fact that people try to advocate the BS, you know, on certain things and certain content they should be talk shouldn't be talked about and they put their lives at risk but i do it all the time i risk it every day so i'm one of those channels that's like a little bit of a relic but i stay out of the way sometimes and normally it, it's not about beef it's just about what my channel's all about it speaks for itself i know people don't like it and i don't give a shit it's only for the select few. That's what this channel is. But, you know, when I live stream, I talk about current events, politics, sports a little bit. And, and I have a little knowledge in that. I'm versed in it. I read a lot, do my research and things like that. Unlike most people, like you got old motherfuckers think they know everything. They don't know shit. They're shit elders. They shouldn't be, be called elders. They're fucking disgrace and can't even raise their fucking grandchildren. But let's know here or there. But fuck them niggas. What type of content they've been doing? Fuck they little trash, incelian bullshit content. I'm going in today because this is my 10 year anniversary on this channel. A lot of niggas that's 60 plus on up to 80. I'll say from I'm, I'm going to be fair. I'll say 30 plus to I'll say 70 plus. It's on the internet thinking they're big shit. And these niggas barely made 10 years. They only been here for seven to five years. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck you been doing in seven, five years? Wasting time? I've been putting in work. 
what you niggas done live streams didn't exist you had to do pre-recorded content you had to have pictures you had to have conversations you had to have to challenge people and it worked i stuck around for a long time for a reason and then i left the shit i did it three years straight and i left and after that when i came back it was a five-year hiatus i did go outside so the years i would say like 2015 all the way from 2020 in the pandemic period i was absent Yes, I was on panels participating in the live stream, the podcast thing, because I was going to learn about it. And I could have came back in 2020 and said, hey, hey, I could have did all this shit in 2020. But at the time, I wasn't investing in it like that. I was thinking about other things. I wasn't worrying about this shit. I just use this as a hobby, what I do. And then 2021, I said, let me do this on the side. And if I find something in the meantime, which I am already currently right now, because I've been doing it and try to use this as a tool i use this as a tool and that's it and i take care of what i need to get take care of and i'm good because 2021 i'm building the platform that i need because see this year 2022 it's my second year of consistency and i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna leave this shit the week before in may and then come back on mother's day and do it all over again because what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna take a years off i don't take years off i do this and i just drop it and that's it and i pick my spots when i leave that's how it is man because youtube is just a small window and i figured that shit out way early i'll say from 2014 all the way down to 2020 and i figured out it's a small window man it's not easy getting 10 years on this shit. It's not easy. I've seen the changes, seen the platform changes. You had to get used to what you're saying. It's not very easy doing 10 years. Been on it for a long, long time. And that's the thing. So when you have platforms like these, it matters. And that's certain things that you got to keep in mind. I stopped going places that matter. And you got things like that. You know what I'm saying? But you got individuals when I crazy and forget about shit. It's supposed to matter sometimes, right? So when you, when you have content, when you actually have real content, instead of talking about the opposite sex without talking about the opposite sex, if you paid attention, I throw shots at a few that I wouldn't say, I'll say it like this out of all my content. Let me, let me check real quick. I haven't even talked about the opposite sex in ever. And I'll say it like this. I ain't even talked about them in, in a minute. So yeah, man. It's what this. And I'm I'm just like, you know, looking at my shit. Look at my own content. I do look at my own content. I'm only a few guys that'll tell you I look at my own content. And I do it all the time. I do it off the live streams. I used to do that shit. And I still do. It's just, I'm laughing at all the shit that I went through. Especially two years coming back to these newer spaces. And I cut that shit off in March. And did my own thing. And that was it. So that that's why I encourage people to do. And that's just the thing that people need to understand, man. Like, <laughs> we do this shit. But you got a lot of niggas want to bitch and complain about everything else. And it's just a fun fact that we, we got to look at this stuff. We got to look at this stuff. We got to look at this stuff. And you look at this stuff. And, you know, I know they talking about uh, Ukraine and all the other stuff, you know, but that's, you know, form of distraction. We ain't gonna get into that. So, yeah, man, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And, you know, and I, I just dropped two recordings early this morning. And this is a good time to talk about my 10 year thing. One thing about me is it will stick out long term. One thing I can say about it is one of those things that you got to be mindful of. And then I'm just like, 
I'm here. I'm here doing this. So when you have individuals hating on you all the time, but each year in different parts of different sectors of, you know, black YouTube and things like that, them niggas is inconsistent. And I stopped caring a long time ago. I did this shit a long time and I noticed each year it gets worse and worse every time. Every damn time, bro. Every damn time. And I'm just like, whoa. What is this shit? What is this shit? And then that's just that's just how it is. And that's just what it is. And that's what it is. And I'm just like, look, after those 10 years, it means something. It means something. And I think most people will look at it for what it is. So when you do that type of stuff and then you have the pre-recorded content, it, it's just it, it's just evergreen. All evergreen. And I've never messed with anybody's uh business like that. So yeah, all the stuff that I've seen and I don't know how many and I ain't mentioned by no women. I just stuck to my actual content. I mean, I talk about them in reference and other people that I've seen on YouTube, but I never came at them with the gender shit. No relationship topics. The relationship topics are trash. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't even fuck with them shits. And y'all niggas know how I feel about those. I don't see what my oldest shit. And it's nine years. About to turn 10 years. And I post these shits for a while. So I've been on it like on the 18th. That's 10 years. All of them's going to turn to 10 in a minute. All of them's going to turn to 10. I said, this nigga's been doing videos for 10 years. Yeah, decades, man. I've been on decades on here. I've been on here for a long time, bro. I was before these niggas, man. I've been on here since 07 prior to this. You know, this is technically my second channel. My first channel is gone. I already know what that feels like. I already know what that feels like. And and I, I took a different path after that. But I ain't going to get into what happened to me. But I know what happened. I cut that ties off. I cut that ties off. And then you start seeing me being consistent each year. That same year probably. And then you start seeing shit. I was getting into my racial shit and all that. You know, Moors of Germany. That was my biggest one. So, yeah, man, I have actual content. Talked about black Georgia. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about both uh, genders equally. Uh, when I got into the, the response to utilitarianism, that was last year. Nihilism. Didn't get that much views and all that stuff. But it's okay. It's pre-recorded content. It was on the cell phone. And then the response. You know, the manosphere and things like that. And, you know, discussions to the hour. This is, he said, my thoughts. And it is what it is, man. Like, you know, and random. To my Epicureanism, my thoughts on Aaron Fountain. All that shit, man. This is why I even had gear. This is why I had proper, pristine podcasting gear. Or broadcasting gear like mics and shit and interfaces and things like that right i wasn't in, even into that until later on and then i was inspired i did my own research you know there's certain people tell me to look at this look at that and i did my own research too and i and i did more i like tech stuff i mean i was a headset guy but then once i got into microphones i said man this is nice i could use this for actual content yeah man it's a lot of bullshit i've seen and I said I upgraded my stream. My streaming and can add 10 people now. Yeah, I did that. And I said that that was like 11 months ago. I was like a last year. And I said that too. And I was good. And once I did that, man, I, I've been on fire. And it's been working out for me. So it's it's paying off. Mainstream media is about trends. That's it. That's a, that's a classic. 
It's a good one. Three hours just getting started. And then the Kwame Brown. And I said, man, it's for your style. I should edit that. old and that, and that's just all I gotta say but you, you know you got people just wanna hate for no reason bro like I ain't got time for the bullshit but you know people are just going to be who they are they show their hands every day man like I, I know people just be like oh man what's this nigga talking about you know blah 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 and all this other you know what i mean like I, i'm not wor- worried about what niggas be thinking but shouts out to a certain individual like you know yesterday you know yesterday and he stand on what he stand on man everybody say oh man like that i don't know what's the point why people be tripping and when you start upgrading shit, you just you just get tired, bro. You get tired of the bullshit. And once you get tired of it, niggas act like they they rectify your shit. No, they didn't, bro. Yeah. I left that shit alone. You know, views and all that. That's just what it is. But some people just look at it that. But that's that's the 10 years that I dealt with all the time. So. And you look at these things that people want to be a part of something. And that's just what it is, man. Like, I'm not really I'm not really pissed off at anything. But when you got niggas that want to challenge you all the time, it's just what it is, man. Is what it is. I'm not even tripping off this shit. Quiet is kept. So it is what it is. And I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to my library for a minute. Check out my thing. Check out my thing. Hold on. It says salute. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm just out here. Yeah, man. I got time for that. But you know, it, it's just like that's that's the stuff that you deal with. You deal with it all the time. And then people just act like they're crazy, man. Yeah, I might keep that. That's why I had a fallout. Yeah. Say outside. Yeah.
Yeah. Open topic. Yeah. I wasn't eating off that. And it is what it is. But, you know, one thing I can say, you know, I can go all day with this stream and, you know, see what he's talking about. Yeah, just put that over there for a minute. But the, the normal thing is like, you know, the 10 year anniversary of my channel is just what it is like. You do it all the time. So one thing, it is what it is. I can go all day about the tenants, what I've done, like a lot of stuff I left behind, man. And they see it all the time, but you know, people want to see where you stand at, you know, stuff talking about it and, and, you know, relationships is the least I've talked about, you know, and I think from experience, mine's was bad years ago and I cut that off and I'm focused on myself for years and years and i ain't really interested in nobody at this point i'm like i'm kind of dead i'm trying to get a certain level first and then i'll invest in it later on but i'm not worried about no relationships but you know youtube can drain you man like i left this shit like five years hiatus and then came back on the sixth year and then look at look at where i'm at now so it takes it takes a lot of work a lot of people's channels is not really growing like that well you got to try to talk about various things and do a lot of pre-records like I did. It's already been done and you can't do it again. So it's like my channel is fine. A lot of people say, oh, he has a dead channel and all that. No, it's not. I still got actual content that people care about. I still do content. It's just people don't mess with the stuff that I mess with now. You have to follow this weird trend and this PPT bullshit and the glorified echo chambers. Fuck out of here. My channel's not an echo chamber. I get challenged all the time in the comment sections all day long and i still don't give a shit what people think i really don't especially on youtube youtube is pathetic man they they pick and choose who they want to delete and who they want to touch you gotta look at people for who they are bro like most people are full of shit they just want to be on here and just want to be uh seen yeah pristine audio all day man like niggas just want to hate for the simple fact that you actually do real content and then you do other things. So yeah, I do a little fuckeries every now and then. I mean, I did it years ago, so it's nothing new, man. People always want to cry about the same old shit all the time. And that gets draining. And I cut that shit off, man. I'm one of those people, but you know, that's all I got. But 10 years, man, hard work, put in work. Uh, I always have excellent, decent content in the beginning of my first three years of this channel. And then after that, it's just up for grabs at this point because everybody's challenging, you know, but a thousand subscribers, I got that in in some years in 2019, not doing content. Nobody can say that. I can, but nobody can say that. So with that, I want to say peace and shalom and enjoy y'all's day for this this Monday. And I'm signing off and I'm out.